find vCarve Desktop, the vCarve Desktop icon on your computer's desktop, and double click to open it. You are creating a new file, so click Create New. We are doing four inches by four inches, so you'll probably have to change the numbers to four by four. The material thickness is 0.375, so change the thickness you have to 0.375. The XY datum position should always be the top left, so change it from here to there. We are working in inches, standard Canadian maple. So I've done this before. These are already all set up for me. You're going to have to change your settings to match what you see on my screen. And then click OK. Okay, to begin, this is the edges of our coaster. You're going to have a 4x4 four four piece of wood. We want to create a circle in the center of that piece of wood. So we are going to click Create under Create Vectors. We are going to click Draw Circle. And we want a 1.5 radius um, circle. The diameter would be 3. The radius would be 1.5. Um, we want to go 2 inches over. And then if this is 0, 0, 2 over, this would be negative 2. You can, should see the negative 2 over here. So going 2 over, 2 down would put our circle in the center of our coaster. So you'll see 2, negative 2, click create, and that should create a circle um, 3 inches diameter in the center of your coaster. This is where we'll set the drink. So now we want to um, have the machine cut this cut, cut out where we're going to place the drink. So select this, fact, this circle. If you go from the bottom right up to the left, it'll select all everything you've touched and that's the better way to select items. Now this is a really small kind of hidden button here that switches between the two modes of this program. I really wish it were like at the bottom or very top but it's kind of hidden. Under 2D view control you'll see switch to toolpath tab. And now we're in the toolpath cutting area of this program. And we want to choose under toolpath operations we want to cut a pocket an area to set something down onto. So we're going to go to Pocket Toolpath and click. And our start depth will be 0.0, .0 and we are cutting 1 8 inch deep, 1 8 of an inch in decimal is 0.125. Um, we are going to be using the end mill, which is a 0.125 tool, and everything else. Make sure it's set to offset roster is going to make a weird cut that won't be as clean uh, under clearing pocket offset will make a nice clean cut out for you and then everything else should be fine so you should be able to click um, calculate and you'll see the machine toolpath is a bunch of circles to cut out that pocket if we want to go to a angled corner view <coughs> We can now see it from a 45 degree angle, and if we click Preview tool, All Toolpaths, you'll see it cut out a circle, an area where you can set a drink. So we're going to go ahead and close that, and we want to return to the drawing side of the program. So there's that little arrow, switch back to the drawing tab. And I'm going to click up here New to get back to the drawing view. And now we want to add an image into the center of our cutout so that our coaster looks a little more decorative. So I'm going to go down to Google and I'm going to go to Images and I want to do Chief Wahoo for this demo. My typing skills aren't really that great today. Now remember it has to be at least 300 by 300 and it shouldn't have a gradient background and it shouldn't have a bunch of fine detail. So if I look at this, it's nine by what, 900 by 1000, so that's fine. It's more than good enough. It has a clear background. These light gray and white checkers mean there's no background. It's transparent or clear. That's really good. And um, I'm going to click View Image to see the full image. And then I want to right click once we get the full image and save image as. And I'm going to say Wahoo. 
I'm going to choose desktop. You can choose your network folder if you want. doesn't matter. I'm going to click save. And I'm going to save that image. Now I'm going back to vCarve. And up at the very top under file operations, you'll see import bitmap for tracing. It's top line, far right. And this will import an image for us to trace. So I'm going to choose go to desktop, choose Wahoo, and open. This going to be a little large. So I have to find a transform tool that will make him smaller. So under edit objects, we have these different ones. And this is move, scale, and rotate, the third white arrow of, over under edit objects. So I click that. It will allow me to move the Wahoo and resize him, make him a little smaller. That's pretty good size. It fits in the circle pretty well. Now I just want to center this because I can guess where the center is, you know, but I might be off. So with the image selected, there's a align selected objects, if, which would mean if this is selected, it will align it. And if you click that, it says align to materials, align to center of material. And that will put the Wahoo exactly in the middle of this circle. So I'm going to click close. And now we want to have uh, cr vectors created, points where the tool will cut out this design. So you under create vectors, you'll see the bottom left here says trace bitmap, which is an image. So we want to trace an image. So I'm going to click that. And we can do color or black and white. I usually do black and white. Um, now this is, I'll take a look and see what that looks like with four colors. I've moved down to four colors. And let me see what that cut looks like. Let me preview that. No color selected. I have no idea what that means. Um, I find it really easy if I go to black and white and I click preview, it shows me a trace out of the image. So until I learn more about how to do colors, this is going to have to do going black and white. Um, and we're going to click apply and then close. So now we want to get rid of this image so that we can just see our toolpath. So if you click on the image, you should be able to click on the image, not the lines that we're drawing, but inside the lines. Click on the image and press delete on your keyboard and that will delete the image so that we just have the trace out of the image. Now I want to select just this trace out to cut. I don't want to cut the circle again. We've already cut the circle. So if I start in the bottom right and I move up and to the left, I will select uh, everything that my that um, selection area um, touches. So we are going to select the entire image. And then I'm going to go back to the cutting side of this program. So I'm going to click the arrow again. Now that we have our Wahoo selected, we want to do a V-bit, a V-bit carving toolpath. So second line, V-carve engraving toolpath. Go ahead and click that. Our start depth cannot be zero. If we start at zero, we've already cut one inch, one eighth inch deep. So if we start at zero, we'll be cutting air. So we have to set our start depth to one eighth of an inch. So 0.125. And our um, final depth will be um, 0.25. That would be two thirds of the way through the material. Um, we have a 3 8 inch piece of wood, so um, 0.25 would be the deepest you'd want to go. We do want to use a 93 V bit, so nothing to choose there. Um, everything really looks pretty good after you change the start depth and flat depth. You probably have to put a check mark here to fill in your flat depth. If it's, if it's grayed out and says none, you have to put a check there. And then you can enter 0.25. Now click Calculate, and it should calculate that. Now we want to preview all toolpaths, and you'll see it cut out your image now inside your circle. So if you start an eighth inch deep and you went a quarter inch deep, you should have a design cut in below the clearance toolpath that cut out that pocket. So now I can close this and I want to start by saving this program. In case anything goes wrong, you don't want to recreate this entire thing. So click File, Save As, 
I'm going to go to my network folder now so that I always have it. I'm going to click my network folder and instead, I'm going to change new to coaster and click save. Okay, now we want to save our toolpaths. So I would like to check and save all toolpaths. I'm not sure this is going to work. It didn't yesterday, but let's put a check there and click save toolpaths. And you'll see it's only saving our V carve toolpath, which uh, really annoys me. So we'll fix, we'll do one at a time, starting with the V carve. Um, wait, maybe we close this and see if we can't select everything by making our cursor from bottom, bottom right to top left. Select all, and then click Save Toolpath. And what is it? Still just saving one toolpath. I don't know why that is. So I'm going to change the post processor to G Tech G E E T E C H. So go down to G's and find G Tech A T C. It'll be a star dot N C. And we're going to start by saving the carve the V carve toolpath. So click Save Toolpath. And I'm going to go to again to my network folder and vcarve1 is fine. I'm going to click save for that. And now I have to save the pocket um, also. So what I found is I was unable to do that by just trying different things. So what I ended up doing was um, deleting the Wahoo by selecting it and deleting it and then let me see if running a simulation well there's the preview toolpaths so let me reset the preview and click preview toolpaths and the Wahoo is still there so let me go down to vcarve right click and delete the vcarve toolpath delete this, delete all. Oh wait, undo, control Z. Right click, delete, delete this. Okay, so now if I reset the preview and preview all toolpaths, now I'm just getting the cutout. So that is the toolpath we are now going to save. So I'm going to check toolpath, click save, should still be GTAC, Click Save Toolpath. It should list it as Pocket, and it should say go automatically to your network account if you've already saved it. So you can go ahead and click Save on that, and now we have a cutout toolpath saved and then a carving toolpath saved, each individually. So um, at this point, you can. Uh, get the flash drive from me, transfer the file or two files to the flash drive, and then we'll take them to the machine and cut them out.